It's a short and sharp first run, but this Kathmandu puffer jacket is going to do really, really well. Happy Monday. Uh, last time we would have done it, what sold was what a month ago. Yeah, been a bit of time. Yeah. So I figured we'd turn the camera on and do it in a little bit of a what sold. Only going to be a top five though today because it's going to be a bit more throughout the day vloggy. Yeah. Uh, a little bit different. Um, just want to show you guys the whiteboard. Uh, we've had a twenty percent twenty percent off sale, um, and that ran pretty strongly through Friday, Saturday, and then even yesterday without the sale, we also had a pretty strong day as well. So I'm actually anticipating the algorithm is just going to basically throw us off the cliff and we're not going to get any sales. That's typically the way it works for today. Um, but we did a 400 day on Friday. Then we did 800 bucks and then yesterday we did 513. Um, so we're sitting on 6,479 in revenue this month, 16 days in. And that's averaging $404 in sales a day. And we want to be averaging at $366. So we're actually above average. That The sale that has come through over the weekend has been really good. Um, it's put us in a spot where hopefully if we can just keep doing our normal processes, uh, we'll be able to hit $11,000, which has been something we've been really fighting for over the last few months. We've only just been getting, mm. like, re we've been getting really close, but we haven't actually had an 11K month yet. Yeah. We did in January, but it's been a few months since we've actually hit it. Um, but I think this month, with these strong numbers, uh, we'll actually get there, which will be very, very exciting. Um, these, Courtney, if you want to throw the camera over it, are some sales that we've got coming in from the weekend that we're not going to be talking about in this video. Um, but as you can see, there's a, a range of different categories that we typically always sell. We've got some shoes, we've got some DVDs, we've got some video games, some Funko Pops, which we don't have too many more of, and then other little bits and pieces like magazines and little collectibles like the M&Ms. So all of that always ticks over, but we've got five items though that I really wanted to talk to you about because they are fantastic sales that have come through um, that will hopefully help you with your own eBay business. Courtney's going to do the first one. Let's do it. All right. First one is these video games. These are all actually individual sales that we've just picked up. Um, they're all between about $20 and $40 individually. Um, we had 37 over the weekend, and these are 19 out of the 37 sales. So video games, like we always talk about, are like 10 out of 10. Just a great category to sell. Yeah. Yeah, so as you guys know, all of our individual video games are on the wall here. We have actually moved a few over to this wall as well um, because we want to start to buy more video games. So we're actually going to stack all of this up with video games sourcing over the next few months. But we've been able to pull out 19, as Courtney's got here. They're all going to go into an envelope, a medium satchel. And as Courtney said, you know, 20 to $40 worth of an average sale price uh, has brought us in some pretty good money in the video game category. I am curious to get a bit of a heat check on your own eBay store. Um, how are you going? Are you selling well at the minute? Are you finding it tough to source items? Are you seeing the Australia Post price increases and getting really frustrated about the whole experience of selling on eBay? I would just like to get a bit of a, an update from the community. So let me know in the comments below. Um, this is a brand that I want to talk about. It's a pair of jeans and I don't think too many people would have heard of these jeans. Had you heard of Chupon no, Max? Never. Never. No, I think it's European. Um, the best way to show you guys the brand will be here. There it is right there. Chippo and Bax. And I probably have pronounced that incorrectly. Mm. And I'll hear about it in the comments, as yeah. I always do. Uh, but a good size, 36, 34. Uh, these are a slim fit as well. Uh, we got a $70 sale price, I think it was, for these jeans. They are in really, really good condition as well. Jeans are a really good selling item if you are any type of seller on eBay. If you're brand new, if you've been selling forever, Jeans are just a great item and they're in abundance when you're out in the thrift stores. So I think this is a fantastic category to get into from the beginning. All right, the next one is a Funko actually. We don't have that many Funkos left. This is all we have. Um, and this is the one that's sold. It's the Powerpuff Girls. Him. The Powerpuff Girls. I used to love them. Um, and Matt found this one actually at a cash converters for a buy one, get one 50% off. So we got a $9 purchase price on it, but we sold it for $38 and also a $35 international postage cost. Nice. So that's a good, yeah. we're staying out of the Funkos, but we've got a few, few left. Yeah, we, we do. We've got um, some HR Puff and stuff. It was, 
There was actually actually some really good Funkos with some higher average sale price items. Um, yeah, Michael Scott there goes for about 25 or 30 odd. This yeah. HR I think goes for about 40. I don't know. I shouldn't be buying them. It's a bit like the hats where I tell myself I'm not going to do something and then I go and do it. And then you come back with them. And then Courtney gets angry because she's like, no, nah, we said we weren't going to do this. Why are you doing this? No, um, but this that, is good. That was a good sale. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we took cashies for their money, which was nice because you don't always win at cashies. Now guys, you may have remembered this in a vlog uh, because it wasn't too long ago. I picked up this Canon D5000 camera and I didn't know how to go about selling it. I've actually decided to go ahead and break it all up. Um, we bought this off a viewer of the channel about one or two weeks ago now. It was a bit of a private buy. I love doing private picks. So if any of you guys have got anything, um, shoot me a note on Instagram and we can hook up a deal. Um, but this here, the, the Canon D5000, just the body only, that was going for about $120 to $150. Um, this was the lens that came along with it. And often the case with cameras, the lenses are worth way more than the actual bodies. Um, which makes sense, but if you're not into your cameras, um, you probably don't know that. Um, so anyway, this was a really cool find. Um, it has a lot of all the bells and whistles that you'll need. It's got a really nice flip side 300 camera bag, and it's got all the cables, chargers, and batteries that you would need. So it is quite complete. You could absolutely sell this off individually for a really good sale price. I just thought we'd go ahead and list it break, broken up. Um, so this one here had its manual. This lens was a very, very good lens, comping up to be worth about $450. Um, but I ended up getting a 20% off sale uh, on this one on Saturday and it sold for $360. Um, so a $360 sale is just incredible. We bought all of it for I think $180. Um, and this one lens has come through for $360. So a fantastic sale price. Camera gear is something I wanna get into a whole lot more. Um, you see the boys out at the flea market when I'm out there. I don't buy it because I don't know what I'm looking at and they buy it and they make this sort of money. So it's a really good category to flip if you can get a, your head around it. Um, but yeah, I was very, very stoked to see it and I might actually pay a bit more attention to it and do a bit more research. <laughs> the next one, the last ones actually, are these ASICS footy boots. These ASICS Lethal Speed, is that an R? Yeah, Speed RS. Yeah, always do really well. And that colorway, I feel like is a really cool colorway. Um, Matt brought these about a month ago in the thrift shop for about $15 and we got a $70 sale price on them. So very good. US men's 12 as well, so the size always matters. The bigger ones always sell faster. 12s are good. Yeah. Yeah, 75 bucks or 70 bucks. Yeah. Um, in a small satchel as well, hopefully. Pretty good name. Um, really good condition and um, definitely an item I think you guys should be looking for. Footy boots have done well for me for the last four years, as you can see. Uh, I do source quite a lot of them. One thing that I need to do today is I need to hand deliver this one. So this actually came through for a $260 sale. It's, and I don't know my computers at all, but it's a graphics card um, for a computer. And my friend was using it. There it is, oh, I won't pull it out, but I don't know what this thing is. I'll put the comps up on screen to show you guys the, the information. I just did a sell similar um, to get all the metrics and the uh, item specifics. And this thing sold in 24 hours. I did it on a consignment and we got a $240 sale price for it. And um, I'm splitting it 50-50 with my friends. So we made about 105 bucks each. Um, but I'm gonna deliver it because it's only 20 minutes up the road. And I figured after delivering it, we could go and do some thrifting. While we do that, Courtney, you're gonna be listing up some items that I found at the flea market yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully you guys tuned into that flea market video that we put up yesterday. It was a really, really fun day out. All the boys bought some great items. I got a few good things as well. These were a few of the items. So Courtney's gonna be listing up this one first. Uh, we've got a Sydney Swans jacket. Um, Sydney Swans are on top of the ladder at the moment in the AFL, Courtney. Mm. Um, might be a team you might have to adopt and support. Yeah, you, you love the Matildas. You love your Matildas though, yeah. don't you? <laughs> um, but that one will be listed for about 35 odd dollars. This was the highlight of the video, so a bit of a spoiler. Hopefully we didn't show that, Courtney, mm. but this is the highlight of the video. So this was the vintage Thomas the Tank um, little toys from 1992. Um, these go for about $100 as a listing, Courtney. Mm. So we can lay that out really nicely for some photos mm. um, and we can sell that off, but that was a $5 purchase. That house or the whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> whole thing for five bucks. Uh, and I used, to, I used to love Thomas the Tank when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, did you? No, not really. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, we also are going to be listing up today this, which is a huge box of GoPro gear that I bought for $40. 
You haven't seen this yet, hey? No. Yeah. I bought it for 40 bucks yesterday, and um, it's got a lot of different bits and pieces into it. I think we're just going to do it as one big listing. Yeah, you'd have to, I reckon. And I think we're going to do it for 200 bucks. Yeah. So $200 listing for the GoPro is going to go up today. Every day we try and get ourselves $500 worth of listings, and that right there is going to be 300 This one here as well. Oh, that as well is going to be 30 So 330 And then we're going to go ahead and list these boots up. So these Keen boots I put in the video, Courtney, mm. and I said, should I go ahead and fix them? Because the glue has broken on the heel. See that? Mm. It's pretty horrendous. Yeah, that is bad. 90% of comments said that I should re-glue and we should list these. Yeah. So I, th I would have thought the feedback would have been to just cut the loss, throw them away. No. But they said to re-glue and, and list it up. Yeah, I agree. So today, I'm going to go and find some glue. Yeah. I'm going to clamp them out in the sun. Yeah. And then we're going to list these up. And I think these Keen boots are retailing for like $300. Yeah, wow. So I think we can list them up for like 70 or 80 Yeah. So that's going to be another listing. So that gets you about $400 worth of listings for today. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to get us further into the week. So we're going to have to go out and find some more items, which we're going to do after dropping off that item there. <laughs> engine vintage set that we just talked about in the previous clip um, Matt was saying a hundred for all of the pieces but she's doing some comp research and we actually have um, this exact listing so 1992 Tommy with the complete two carriages and Thomas and that alone goes for 85 well that comp was 85 and there's a few between 70 to 85 so that's just these three so we still have like the little train station more carriages and the tracks as well or 1992 so i think i'm going to list it for probably 130 so a little bit more um which i know matt would agree with as well so yeah just a little update on that one <laughs> Yeah, no, it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. no, people are wearing these Yeah, no, yeah, sure. Yeah, we start, starting the business here, so oh. getting all the graphics cards and selling, making computers. Wow, so, really? Yes, yeah, pretty, pretty new to it. Well, hopefully scary, that'll uh, go a long way to help yeah. you out. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, it should be good, but thank you so much for that. I Epic, man. It. No worries. All right, first job done. Let's go and do some thrifting first store of the day and it turned out to be a good one i was able to find this this is a katmandu vest and there were some interesting markings on this to tell me that it was the duck down 550 so i went ahead and i did some google research and i did some ebay comp research as well and it turns out that this is actually a really really high retail price jacket um, so i've gone ahead and bought this one for 15 dollars and having a look at ebay the numbers tell me that we're going to be able to make quite a significant amount of profit on this purchase. Well, it was a short and sharp first run, but this Kathmandu puffer jacket is going to do really, really well. The thing that I like about it is you've got 272 sales, and then when you look at the active listings, there's actually only 212 actively listed at the moment. It means it's going to go on to sell quick, and the average sale price is well over $100. Well, not well over, but it's around about $100, bucks, which is brilliant because we're only buying it for $15. So I'm happy to go and strike on that and leave the store with just the one item, knowing that it's a great item and it's going to be in a what's sold video pretty soon. And I think if you just played down that line of just checking sell through rate and confirming items with a really high sale price, uh, you'd be a much more efficient eBay seller. And that's honestly what it's all about. There are a few other things that will help with that sell through rate as well. And that's the fact that it is a timely purchase. It's obviously winter for us over here in Australia and this puffer jacket is, or vest, is gonna be a really great item for somebody right now. So there's gonna be a lot of eyes looking for it. Uh, and the other one as well is the size. It was a men's extra large, which in clothing always seems to do really well. People are after larger sizes than smaller sizes. So for all these different elements, I could, I could comfortably say that if we listed this up for about $90 to $100, uh, we'd have a sell-through within about a couple of weeks, which is really, really good. 
point that I'm trying to make here is just be really selective about the items that you buy. Don't go and buy everything just because it's cheap. Really look into it, look into the sell-through rate, get a nice high average sale price, and just be confident with the items that you have from a sell-through rate perspective. If you do that, you really can't go wrong as an eBay seller. This was a great purchase, a pair of footy boots that actually sold within two hours of me listing them up onto eBay. I paid 15 in store and I sold them for 45 plus 35 postage to the USA. They don't usually sell that quick, but that was epic. And then I found this. This was the find of the day, find of the month even. Uh, we've got a Lego set here with the TV show Friends. Awesome. I did open it up. Yeah, it's, it's massive. So really generous of the staff to let me go out the back and have a bit of a dig through the box just to see what was in there. And I actually realized that this was, well, fairly complete. It, I won't say it is fully complete. We are missing two of the seven characters. Um, but all of the piece, uh, pieces in there, it looks as though it is, well, not quite 2,048 pieces, but the majority is definitely there. So, you know, for $69 worth of a purchase price here in store, and the fact that it retails for $270, it made me think that we should definitely go ahead and make this purchase. I think there's some profit in it. All right, so it wasn't too bad, guys. I mean, come and do jacket, we'll do vest, we'll do for 100. We'll go 30 on the Richmond jumper, and then these footy boots, I reckon we can go for $50. So what's that? 180 bucks worth of value for three items, but it is this over here. We've got the Lego board set, or Lego set. Now, I don't know what to do here with this, guys, because how are you meant to count up 2,048 pieces? I don't want to do it, but what I do like the fact is that it has its manual, right? So at least we've got the original manual so you can learn and you can see, I guess, as you go, what pieces you might be missing. It's just not something that we're going to bother to deal with. Um, but it is our issue to deal with how much we go ahead and we list this thing up for. Now, the comps on eBay are amazing. This is an item when you're in a thrift store, you always want to make sure that you purchase because Lego sells incredibly well. We speak about sell-through rate a lot. We have in this episode. And basically, this one here has got 27 listings, but there's 60-odd sales. So it's selling 300% super super high turnover item so we know it will sell we just need to make sure we price it accordingly knowing that it is an incomplete item so i don't know i don't know how it's going to be but if we have a look at the main characters here of the friends guys we've got five out of seven so i know that we're definitely missing ross and i think we're missing not monica we, oh we're missing janice oh no we've got janice who are we missing phoebe phoebe so there's phoebe there you want to pull the camera up there? There's Phoebe there. So we're missing Phoebe and we're missing Ross. But all of these other little bits and pieces will hopefully make up a pretty complete set because we've got the main, as you can see here. Whoever's had a go at this has done a pretty good job. But it's not complete and I know that there's missing pieces because we're missing the main characters. Mm -hmm. So what do you do from a pricing sense? I would love to get your thoughts if you guys, if any Lego sellers out there, they're probably the best people to speak to. If you can drop your comments below about how we should go about pricing this thing up, it's worth about $350 if it was complete. And there are sort of 95% partial complete versions that are selling for about $260, $270. Um, so I had a number in my head at $250, um, obviously stipulating heavily in the description that we're unsure if it is complete and there's definitely missing characters out of it. Um, but it is a ripping item. To pay $69, I'm still pretty happy with that um, because I think we're going to be able to list this up at least over 200 in my opinion. Uh, and then once this thing's shipped off, it's, it's obviously going to be a significant profit. So it's a great item. I'm just in a big dilemma as to what to price it for and I'd love your help. So Courtney's going to go ahead and list all of that up uh, and that is it for a Monday. I'm going to leave you with a video right here which was more thrifting. So if you want some more thrifting based content, this was a really good day. Um, thanks for being here for this video, guys. Remember to subscribe. Look forward to seeing you soon.